Hi, this is Dr. Hourglass and welcome to another video in our channel, Wonder Breast. Today we're going to discuss the relationship between breast implant and cancer. In this channel, we discuss everything related to breast surgery. Welcome back. There have been many studies and many concerns about breast implant causing ductal carcinoma of the breast, the most common form of breast cancer. The silicone in breast implant is, it is sterile and medically grade. Studies have shown that this substance does not cause any harm to the body, including ductal carcinoma. About 80% of, of all breast cancer are invasive ductal carcinoma. However, recently the Food and Drug Administration identified a possible association between breast implant and the development of anaplastic large cell lymphoma, ALCL, a very rare cancer of the immune system. It is believed that women with breast implant may have a very low but incre increased risk of developing ALCL. There is ongoing research to fully understand the relationship between ALCL and breast implant. ALCL is a cancer of the lymphatic system and can develop in various parts of the body. It can initially appear in the skin, in the lymph node, or in organs throughout the body. Rarely, it may develop in the breast. According to the National Cancer Institute, ALCL is diagnosed in about one out of half a million women a year in the United States, and ALCL in the breast is diagnosed in only three in 100 million women a year in the United States. Recent studies have determined that the surface texture of an implant may affect the risk of ALCL in the breast. Most patients with ALCL after breast augmentation have texture implant. If you have breast implant, these findings are not a call to change your treatment plan or to have your breast implant removed. But you will need to follow up with your surgeon in the event that you develop unusual, sy unusual symptoms after breast augmentation. Late onset of, of seroma and periprosthetic effusions are a rather common presentation for ALCL. A few patients present with a firm mass. Other non-specific symptoms are breast enlargement, tenderness, redness, and capsule contraction. Remember, the possibility of ALCL is very remote. In this video, we discuss breast implants and cancer. Next week, we will discuss the fat transfer to the breast. Remember to comment below, share this video, like this video, and subscribe to our channel for more information here at the Wonder Breast channel, only on YouTube. Also, you can log on to our website, www.drhourglass.com for more information about your procedures and to see amazing surgical results. Remember to log on to our Hourglass TV for more information about your surgical procedures. On Monday, we have Booty Man for everything related to buttock enhancement procedures. Tuesdays, Wonder Breast where we discuss topics related to cosmetic breast surgery. Wednesdays, we have star bodies. If you wanna have a star body, log on to our Hourglass TV. Thursdays, Hourglass Operating Room, where you're gonna see me doing light surgeries with before and after pictures. Also, Shoddy, where we discuss cases that require cosmetic surgical revision. And Friday, Super Hourglass, for topics related to have that hourglass figure that you want. And finally, live broadcast surgeries every day of the week on Facebook Live, Periscope, and Snapchat. All this and more in the Hourglass TV.